Choose category. Is it Dubrain or DA Dubrain. Dubrain. There's actually a song. It's like Dubrain. I'm not singing. Come on, Cindy. It's our last week. That was some fun. I ain't mad. Guys, she went to a crazy concert. She was having a lot of fun. to give your answer and put your paddle up. Oh. Oh, oh. but it's <laughs> down. You want to give the answer first? No, they just chose categories. Oh, what the heck? Oh, you're all good. Yeah, it kept coming up. The thing is, I know. We got to do my life this time. I'm trying to talk. Yeah. There we go. Describe a particular type of seizure that you can tell me what what type of seizure that is. Like a generalized or focal? Tonic absent. Tonic clonic. We're not buying anything. The tonic clonic. What are our neutropenic precautions? Avoid large crowds. Isolated rooms. Isolated rooms. Gloving and hand washing. Yes. 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 To all of those things. So neutropenic precautions. None of those fresh fruits. These are going to be like 50 A lot of the questions that are on the final are almost word for word questions that you've had throughout the semester. Like, there's not very many questions on here that are like brand new. I've never heard this question before. Can we get a lot from this last exam? There's quite a few on there from the last exam on disaster, but I'll talk about that when we get there. 
What do you want from me? Everything. Apparently. Name that leader for 400. Okay. Name that leader for 400. It's awful quiet on the right side of the room here. Oh. Oh my gosh, go ahead. Is it the... Like transformational leader? Yes, so the visionary leader is also known as transformational leader. Somebody's studying. <laughs> you know, like the first <laughs> Are you keeping track of your score? <laughs> what was the first one? Yeah, what was the last one? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, you guys have a thousand. Oh, it's a thousand. Yeah, a thousand. <laughs> and now you just have 400. So. All right, pick a category. You like to wipe the board. I see how it goes. Go. <laughs> Name that leader for 200. Okay. No. The one that we have seen. Oh, goodness. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I missed it. I'm going to go with them. Manager? No. Oh, ah, okay. ah, I got it. I got it. No. No. Oh, no. Yes, transactional. Transactional. Give yourself 200 points. David A. He's <laughs> just over here guessing. Like, <laughs> not, he's like, I got the answer, and he's like giving a whole different answer. Like, I should have just shouted it, and not even let like John do it. All right, uh, hang on a second. Let me get back to the board. That's so funny. I can type it. Don't worry. Can we do a thousand for the leader? Okay, name that leader for a thousand. Like she's still responsible. Yes, they're still accountable. Even though um, when you delegate, it doesn't matter what you're delegating. If you're the one who's doing the delegating, you're still accountable for what happens. It's your responsibility to make sure that the person you delegated to, first of all, can do the skill. And has and they're within their role of practice to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hard to believe that we talked about that back in August, right? Really? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Um, brain attack for eight hundred. There is nothing in category six, sorry. Mm. Oh, I'm bad at that. I'm so sorry. What you got? Hypertension, smoking, diabetes, yeah, atherosclerosis. What about me? Yeah. That's hypertension. <laughs> well, it's all the things he just mentioned, so. African American, remember, have higher risk. Hypertension, <laughs> higher risk. Type 2 diabetes, higher risk. Atherosclerosis, yes. Um, I mean, I get what you're saying. I'm not sure why it's only type 2. I think it's because type 2 There's tends like to have a bigger lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Are you writing this down? Everybody got it? So they're hitting the anemia category for 800. Oh, what you got? Vitamin B12. So does everybody know what the other name for that is? <laughs> Did you say cyanide? I know I said cyanide. Cobalmin. Yes, yes. She really tried. It sounded like she was saying cyanide. I'm like, nope, that's not it. What's the other name for pernicious anemia? 
Wait, there was two names for it. For it. There were, there were two it's a vitamin B12 deficiency. It's just B12 and Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 We got 400 for that second place. What's my role for 400? Do you remember us talking about in that, before that first test, about all the different roles that nurses play? So this is what this is about, okay? Oh, what you got? Primary nursing care? Nope. I, I know it is. Focus. Anybody over here? I was a nurse inside this one. Where do you focus? I was a nurse. No, I don't know. I said I said one on one. Uh, I had to guess which one. No. Functional. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it would be like somebody whose only assignment is to do the medications on every patient to pass all the meds or someone whose only job is to just do wound care or somebody's only job is to, you know what I'm saying, very functional. Oh, I get to pick this time. <laughs> Category six for one thousand. <laughs> Pressure, the easiest intervention is to raise the head of the bed. Anybody work on a neural floor this semester? Or have somebody with IC, you had people with ICP monitors, right? So you were constantly going in there and repositioning and doing different It would change the way that you look at the patient. They just don't get you. Yep. Brain death, guys. Yeah, brain Signs of brain death. Rigor mortis. Remember that their symptoms resolve. You can have multiple TIAs 
Um, they also call those crescendo TIAs. I'm just throwing this out there. Uh, my father-in-law had that. Like he had a TIA and it would resolve after a few hours and then he'd have another one. And it finally led to him having a massive stroke. If we'd only intervened in the beginning, it would have been much better. Um, <laughs> brain attack for 600. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, what you got? I can't even read tomorrow. The male with cardiogenic shock after an MI. Global ischemia, so the whole brain loses oxygenation, right? Oh, now it makes sense, right? So the patient that's in cardiogenic shock, they have no oxygenated blood going to their head. That's why they're having global ischemia. That should have been a thousand dollar question. Okay, let's see. We might as well clear the category, right? <laughs> Go. Hemorrhagic. So with the hemor remember the first thing that we're ruling out before we decide on thrombolytic therapy is whether they've had a hemorrhagic stroke and how do we determine that? CT, CT, CT scan. So now that I've determined that, that the CT scan shows they haven't had a thrombo they haven't had a hemorrhagic stroke, I'm thinking I can do thrombolytic therapy. What are some other things that would rule that out? Previous stroke. Previous hemorrhagic stroke. What else? Trauma. Recent trauma. And like blood thinners. Blood thinners. Good. Using your nose. I like this. Thank you for filling my noggin with all this information. <laughs> What's my role for a thousand? <laughs> what you got? Clinical nurse specialist? No. Nurse manager? No. Care coordinator? No. Social leadership? No. Oh, stop. Education. <laughs> You're going to hear this term a couple times on the um, test, so you'll want to make sure that you know nurse navigator, what a nurse navigator does. Kind of like that, um, it's not a discharge planner. What do they call them in, in the hospital? It's not necessarily nurse navigators, but um, the nurse coordinators. Nurse coordinators, care coordinators, nurse care coordinators, like that, yeah. But it's but on the exam, it's a nurse navigator. Okay. They're that person that makes sure that there's good transition between the hospital and the extended care facility and all the outside organizations <laughs> navigate. Okay, my turn. Do name that leader for 800. You guys love that category so much. <laughs> yeah. Is that laissez Yes, laissez <laughs> I don't know how to say something. Okay, I just know that. <laughs> laissez fair. So when you're in that type of leadership, you let people kind of work it out for your, themselves, and you're just kind of an observer. Is that the most appropriate way to resolve all conflicts? Probably not. Um, but if there's a personality conflict, you don't want, if there's a personality conflict between two employees, you don't want them um, coming to you individually and saying, hey, I just want to let you know, Bailey's awful. And she, she stays out on break for like 45 minutes to an hour. And then 10 minutes later, Bailey comes in and says to me, 
Well, I just want to let you know that Corey, she's awful. Uh, she she goes out on, on to take care of her patients and she never does anything. Her charting sucks. You know what I'm saying? You don't want that going on. So well, it's the truth. <laughs> You know what they're going on. Just so, I really don't know. You want them to try to, you want to force them to talk to each other when there's a personality conflict first. And then if they can't resolve it, they come to you <coughs> as a group and you work through it. Not that you want the department blowing up, but you know. Yeah. Uh, 600, clear the leader. Okay, name that leader for 600, clear that category. Oh, what you got? Authoritative. What'd you say? Authoritative. Like authoritarian. Was that 600? Yes, authoritarian. <laughs> I know, I will What's the other um, term that's very similar? Trump? Autocratic. Autocratic. So uh, autocratic and authoritarian are very similar. There are times when that type of leadership is welcomed, and mostly it's like when you guys were doing ACLS, you want an autocratic or authoritarian type leader in a stressful situation or a high risk situation, um, you don't have time for them to start talking amongst themselves and trying to decide what the next move is going to be. Does that make sense? Autocratic. I know. And that first exam, there were a lot of terms. Yes. <coughs> <laughs> Not enough blood in my blood for 600. Yeah. Oh, wait, it's coming. I was just going to say bleeding. But, um, yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> yes. Or like a GI bleed is probably the most common cause. And I, the reason it's chronic is because it's low amounts over a long period of time, and then they develop anemia. Um, a lot of these um, people, especially older individuals, will say to you, well, I eat iron all the time. I take special vitamins. Why am I, why am I now got iron deficiency anemia? It's because they have a small GI bleed they didn't know about. tissue perfusion, they have a lack of um, oxygen in the blood because those cells can't pick up oxygen, remember, because of their sickling. And then the elevated serum osmolality, why is that? Yes, the sickles are clumping together and makes the blood thicker. Yeah, you got it. Good job. It doesn't work like that. You guys do know that's not how the test works, right? <laughs> Even though we're not back in high school, there's not a bell curve or anything like that. Um, what, like on the last exam, I threw out a question. I threw out the question about coping with the burns because it, it was just, there was no consensus amongst everybody on that one. So I threw that one out. And then... It was like setting, it, it's actually in here, setting priorities and some, but oh, it, was, oh, it, was, was, yes. was like, it was a select all the supply and nobody got it. Specific goals, I was like, I don't like I think one on. person got it. I said, I don't like the word specific. I think that was me. <laughs> I didn't get the point back. <laughs> yes, if you didn't get any points back, you didn't miss that one. Um, and then I took two answers on the, the um, 
the total body surface area burn with okay, the face yeah, because yeah. Cast Point had it as one percentage right. and we talked about it as a different percentage. Yeah. So I took both answers on that one. I think okay. I, I remember seeing it on Cast Point. I was like, I was like, oh, I was like, I don't feel like Cast Point is right. It should have been nine percent. Yeah. But, but Cast Point had it as like. 18. So I took both answers because pass point, if you were doing your pass point, you would have seen that answer. That's and, yeah. Well, that on the final. That was not on the final. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's no dosage on the exam. <laughs> No dosage? There's one cardiac strip on the exam. So, question, I have a question. Is that the Bellwork? No, some of the questions that I had for Bellwork actually showed up on your exam. So, yeah, those are out there. There might be one or two on the final that were Bellwork. But not the math. No math. There's no math on the exam. Other than <laughs> determining your body, your burn surface area, yeah. and your fluid resuscitation. Oh my gosh, and I think it's almost exactly the same question about 36% and 7200 and yeah. Oh, no way. That one? I got it right. I think it is. I'm I got sure. that one right. All right. Who had that one? Sickle cell. That was you, right? What are you doing? Yeah, just two hours. What? And none of blood is in my blood. Why? 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 Older people have weird ways of explaining things, right? So I've actually had somebody tell me that the reason that they have not enough blood in their blood as as anemia. Oh. Or you know those people that tell you, oh, it's my sugar. So you're yeah. a diabetic. Yeah. <laughs> Candace. Come on, Candace. Oh, wait. Come on, Candace. You can't guess again. Jenna. No. Also known as pernicious. That was the other name. Iron deficiency anemia. Oh, jeez. Oh, really? She would have said you That's the one. That's the one. Concave fingernails, dyspnea, oral lesions. I know. I remember the game. I remember you had spoon shaped fingernails, and that was one. So that's not concave. Correct. That's two different things. Yes. Um. Let's do. Let's do what's my roll for 800. Let's do it. Ha <laughs> 
I'm going to split you guys up into all the other categories because. Is it yeah. I think that's a good draw. Well, yeah. Yes, what's that bone call? Oh my God, you better tell me how much Were you right? Aren't you funny? Website that controls your scope of practice. Nurse practice act. One more time. So you better put that on the final because I want to hear her like. Glad we know. Just don't slam your laptop. Yeah, don't break your laptop in the middle of the All right, and the last. Charge planner. 
I know. And my favorite is that every hospital has a different name for all of these people. And ultimately, it's whoever is the primary nurse gets to be. Oh, look, the discharge planner's not here today. Guess what? Today, you're the discharge planner. Unless they're students. Yeah. Marie got caught in the, like, All right, add up your scores so far. Where are we at? I don't know. Negative 100. 5800. Let's go shopping. What you guys got over there? 2000. 2000? We didn't keep track. <laughs> we did terrible. <laughs> Probably just 200 points. <laughs> I think it was more than 200 points. Uh, we had oh, just we had another one. one. Or we or we two other All right, let's take a 10-minute break. <laughs>